KPX5's Andrea Nakano is here with what Tesla is saying and what the driver's family may do next. Andrea? Yeah, Juliet and Ken, I talked with a family member tonight who did not want to speak on camera. He says they are contemplating taking legal action in this case. This is what was left of Wei Wong's Tesla after it crashed into a barrier on Highway 101 in Mountain View. Tonight, Tesla confirms the car was on autopilot. In a statement, the company says, quote, no action had been taken by the driver who had a five-second view of the concrete divider. The driver had received several visual and one audible hands-on warning earlier in the drive, and the driver's hands were not detected on the wheel for six seconds prior to the collision. Family members tell me Wong complained about his Tesla Model X veering into the same barrier at the exact location of the crash. They add Wong brought his car into the dealership several times to report a problem with the autopilot function. But according to Tesla, it couldn't find anything suggesting he complained about the performance of autopilot. It did find that he had raised a concern about the navigation not working properly. According to the CHP, there was an accident at the same location on March 12th, which damaged the center divider. Caltrans says the goal is to fix the damage within seven days, but storms can delay repairs. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating the crash. Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.